Welcome to another episode of On The Trail. I'm Colin Coase from Built To Wander, and today we're on Imogene Pass, just outside of Telluride, Colorado. So we woke up this morning at our hotel in Telluride, hit the trail just out of, outside of town. It's still early on the trail. We've taken a few switchbacks, but ultimately it's gonna lead us up to about 13,000 feet, where it'll then drop us down into Uray. This trail can really be run in about three to four hours in a regular stock vehicle. Um, but today we're gonna kind of take a little extra time, get to the summit, really enjoy the trail and soak up all the mining history along the way. Joining us today on Imogene is Mel Wade of Evo Manufacturing and Matt Thompson of 3D Off-Road. Today we brought out three fairly well-built Jeeps. I brought the Triton J out from Colorado Springs. That's my personal Jeep build. It's rocking 40 inch Nitto tire trail grapplers, one ton axles and coilover suspension. Hey Matt, tell me about your 2020 Jeep Gladiator behind us. We started off with the three inch lift so we could run Nitto 40 inch tires, make it easier getting over obstacles. We've done uh, control arms from Rock Jock uh, just to make the ride a lot smoother. The suspension travels better. It's just making the overall truck so much better. Um, so Mel, tell me about your JL that you brought out with you. I brought my daughter's Jeep out. So okay. We're uh, wheeling its full coil over all the way around, long arm kit, has stock axles, 37 inch trail grapplers and uh, should have a great time. I've actually never been on Imogene Pass. I've actually never wheeled in southwestern Colorado in the San Juans. I know that you've been on the trail. Um, tell me if you've got any tips or tricks uh, you know, for someone who, like myself, who's never been on the trail before. Uh, what to expect on this trail. So for beginners, uh, it's absolutely an awesome trail. Be careful, there's some loose, slick rocks. Uh, but you can get through it. So you can get through it with a stock vehicle. We're fully modified, so we're gonna have a great time blowing through it. But uh, there's st steep switchbacks, but the epic scenery. So you gotta make sure you're not just watching the scenery and drive off the cliff. I mean, Gene Pass can get very tight at times, and it's likely that throughout the day, you're gonna run into another vehicle heading in the opposite direction. So under that circumstance, what's the proper trail etiquette in terms of letting them get by? We just asked the rangers, they said uphill has the right of way. But you okay. also don't wanna be a d If you're coming down, if you guys get out of the way, let's make sure you guys get out of the way. These shelf roads are tight and there's big drop offs, so it's scary for everybody. So please look it forward and, and if you can get out of the way, see what's coming on. When you hit a trail like this out here in Colorado, there's definitely a few essentials that you don't wanna leave without. One being food. Mel's favorite is the Nutter Butters. We've got some of those with us. Um, and also water. And then lastly, a spare tire. God forbid you have a punctured sidewall or you pick up a nail from one of these down mining operations. It's best to have a spare tire just in case. Matt's run this trail before. Are there any other things that you would suggest bringing with you? Uh, you'd always wanna bring recovery gear with you. You never know what you may run into. There's landslides here all the time. You may need to get pulled across. You may need to pull a tree out of the way. Recovery gear is essential. Um, cold weather gear, you never know. The weather changes up here very quickly. You may need a blanket, you may need some pants, you may need a jacket, but yeah, essentially you wanna make sure you're prepared for high altitude wheeling. Okay guys, we've already aired down each of the vehicles to about 10 PSI. I think we've got everything ready to rock. Are you guys ready to hit the trail? Ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, let me tell you a little something about me. When it's Saturday night, I need to blow off some steam. One, two, three, four! On these optional lines, like it, it can get dangerous pretty quick. It's kind of a play line, uh, so you can actually get off camber, roll down a hill, so your tire place is really critical. So ideally you want to have your vehicle kind of level, so you got to pick your line, clear your diffs, and uh, try to crawl it. You don't really want to bump it up, you have to bump it, bump it. Uh, but there's plenty of ways to go around here. We're so far out here in beautiful country. It's one of those things, if you can't make it a couple times, back up, go around. beautiful out here. It really blows my mind to think about the history, the mining history, you know, that people were up here over a hundred years ago building mining operations, you know, thinking about the lack of technology they had and then to come up here now and to see some of these buildings and, and infrastructure still in place. 
it's it's honestly incredible sight to see. We've made our way up the trail quite a ways. We're about a mile and a half from the summit and initial impressions so far, one, this trail is gorgeous. We're surrounded by panoramic views, uh, but it's tight at times and we've passed at least a half a dozen other vehicles. So, you know, we've definitely had to keep in mind, you know, keeping an eye out for those pull-offs, making sure that we're leaving room for others to pass by so that everybody out here can enjoy the trail. Uh, Mel, tell me what, what are some of your highlights so far of the trail? Oh, I like the little ledges. I like the switchbacks. I like seeing everybody out here. Yeah. You really, if you are planning a trip out here, I would recommend getting up really early in the morning so you can beat the traffic. It's two-way traffic. It's kind of sketchy, especially if you're in here with your kid and, and a wife and Absolutely. you got to go around ledges. So watch out for that. We are hitting a lot of traffic. This scenery, I like that we got some snow last week uh, on the mountains because you know, we're still in the shorts and with the snow, it feels awesome. like we're way out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and, and to your point about traffic, we're out here on a weekday. so. Definitely, if you come out on a weekend, expect more vehicles. And like Mel said, maybe get out here as early as possible so that you can be free of most of that traffic. Matt, what do you think so far? What are some of your highlights? My highlights is just the beauty of all this nature. I mean, you get to see the marmots running around on the ground. You get to see all the different colors of the rocks. You, I mean, there's just so much to take in. And you, you know, once again, there are a lot of drop-offs. You just gotta be careful. You gotta pay attention and enjoy the scenery. It's just absolutely beautiful up here. Yeah, and, and to Matt's point, <laughs> if you get too distracted looking at the scenery, <laughs> it can be a, a slippery slope off the edge. So definitely, remember to, to pay attention to the trail while taking in the views as best as best you can. Mel, is there anything we need to keep in mind or look out for as we make our way up there? Nah, just a couple switchbacks where we need to make sure our eye is sight, we see if somebody's passing us or not. All right. So we want to stay up at the switchback, so we're good to go, man. Well, let's get to the top. This is tight. Here we are at the top of Imogene Pass. We just came up that last stretch. It's two switchbacks, pretty tight though, and some sheer drop-offs. It definitely gets the blood flowing. I don't know where else in the US you can get to above 13,000 feet at the top of a mountain with views like this. It does not get much more epic than that. M Mel, you've been up here before to the top of Imogene Pass. I mean, what's, what's your experience like and is this any different? It's always exciting and to be able to see everybody up here, there's, there's cars parked just like the staging area. So you see Toyota's uh, UTVs, you see Jeeps. It gets your heart beating. Uh, the road is pretty cool. I would, you know, you guys, I think, uh, you know, the general public could actually have a good time out here with a four wheel drive vehicle and be able to uh, have a great experience. Matt, what do you think? You were up here not long ago. Um, yeah, yeah what, what do you think of it? Two weeks ago, I mean, there was no snow up here. I mean, it was just all sunny and, you know, now there's probably five, six inches over there on the mountaintops, you know, and that goes back to the weather changing up here. Now we got some sun and some clouds and you just never know what to expect up here. It's just been great. Yeah, the, mount, the mountain weather can change like yeah. that. So yeah. we could get rain and sleet this afternoon or, or it could be 80 degrees. Yeah. It's absolutely but that dusting of snow on it is great. And fortunately up top, I mean, we have a slight wind, but I mean, it's September. Does, does it get much better than this? I don't think so. No, it doesn't. Trail's not done yet. We've still got to go down the backside, uh, make our way down into Ure. Matt, what can we expect going down the backside? Um, we're going to hit some more switchbacks. Um, it's, you know, still some pretty narrow roads. 
Um, we get back into tree line. You know, there's uh, some river crossings we got to do, um, and there's an obstacle at the end. That we get to have some, you know, play around on and have a good time. Right on. Let's go do it. Let's Sounds do good. it. All right. Guys, what do you think about me parking on this rock up here? I think it'd be epic. I wonder if anyone's ever even actually done that before. Oh, they have to have. That's like the most epic photo shot opportunity. Let's scoop it up. <laughs> Holy sh! No big deal. It's just a slight cliff edge, uh, minimal margin for error. But Randy's gonna spot me and put me nice and close, but not too close, right? I have, I do have a little fear of heights. I didn't want to say it in front of Mel because I want to appear like a little bit bigger and badder. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed or afraid of. Somebody want to give me a spot here? <laughs> You can't see anything from the driver's seat. You just see nothing. Just a cliff edge and the top of the mountain. You can't see the valley floor. But stepping back is honestly, this is one of those unimaginable landscapes. Like you see it in photos and it doesn't do it justice. But to be here, to be up on the cliff edge, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's because of the Jeeps and the 4x4s that were out here. We're heading down from the summit, down the backside, on our way to Uray. We had a couple switchbacks, some nice ledges, got the Jeeps nice and flexed out. Now we're at Poser Rock. The guys wanted me to pull up to it. I was a little unsure at first. Randy hopped out, gave me an awesome spot. I gotta say, my favorite part of the day was stepping out of the Jeep after parking on Poser Rock. I was mortified, but it is an epic view. It was just blew my mind. Mel, what was your favorite part of the day? Oh, it's a great day. Beautiful weather, tons of people out here. The scenery is just absolutely gorgeous. We got to come over here and pose on the rock. Uh, looks photoshopped, just absolutely epic. And Matt, what about you, man? The views, the, the views were amazing. Um, you come over the peak and, and you just, over the summit, and you just, you can't take it all in, you know? And you gotta stop here and check all this out. And it's just absolutely amazing. You gotta come see it. Guys, I can't thank you enough. Mel, thank you so much for driving through the night all the way from California no to be here on the trail with us today. Matt, appreciate you bringing the Gladiator out from Colorado Springs. In kind. Man, shout out to Evo Manufacturing and 3D Off-Road. Without you guys, this wouldn't have been such an epic day. I wanna thank Driving Line and Nitto Tire for having us out on the trail today. Like, comment, subscribe, and let us know where we should go next, and we'll see you on the trail.